really the chef of the chefs who really has changed things in the way that we eat in America, in the way that we think, is my dear friend Wolfgang Buck. I think a lot of chefs and wine, wine people, vintners, winery owners, and so on, are really out there and not only make a business out of it, but a lot of vintners and restaurant people are also the most generous people out there. And I think to give back to society, to give people who have less to us, you only have to ask a chef or a vintner and says, can you do that for us or can you do this for us? there will never be a no. We know when we started our food and wine festival in Los Angeles in 1982, when I called up Emeril or if I called up Paul Prudhomme or Alice Waters or any other chef or Mario, they all said always yes. And to give back to society, I think it's really one of our main things these days, especially in times where it's very difficult. And we know that we have great wines, great food in the restaurants, but we also know even in America, the richest country in the world, we have people who have very little. So I think I would like to accept this award, especially for the people who don't have the chance to eat great food and great wine. I also have really to make a special thank to Marvin Schenken, and all the people at the Wine Spectator. Because I really feel like this is our Bible. We love to read about wine. We love to read about uh, food. But nobody in the restaurant can taste 18,000 wines a year. We would be drunk all the time. So we couldn't cook. There's no other uh, magazine in the world who really, who really gives us the satisfaction and gives, gives us something to learn each time we open the magazine. Thank you, Marvin. I will share this with all of our people who work with us in our organization. Thank you.